Now, when your digestive system is out of whack, it not only makes you a bit grumpy in general, it does, you know it does, it can also affect your immunity. Today, we are tackling the topic of gut health. Welcome back to the Harvey Norman Lounge, Vanessa Fusich. Good morning, thank really, you. Really nice to have you here. First up, how important is our gut health overall? Uh, it's a good question because it's actually really important. Um, a lot of us actually don't realise the impact the health of the gut has on not just your immunity, but mental health and your just wealth and uh, um, health and well-being. That was a bit of a... So how do you know if you've got something going on with your gut? Yeah, okay, so generally people um, can have low immunity. Some people might suffer from like gas and bloating. Um, they might have food intolerances. Um, but interestingly enough, at this time of the year, some people just find that their health is um, not, not what it should be. So they tend to pick up bugs and get colds and flu quite quickly and easily. And that's interesting because often you think, oh, it'll just be bloating or gas yeah. or things, but it can be a whole lot of other things. Yeah. And you've got a supplement that you brought along today that can actually help with all this. Yeah, Good Health's got an immunobiotic. Now, it's a probiotic with a prebiotic, um, which is quite unique. Um, and it's been specially um, formulated to enhance the immune system by helping the gut health because up to 80% of your immunity is actually in your gut. 80%? Yeah, up to. So it's actually a lot. a lot, And um, that's why, f for me as a naturopath, um, I often get a lot of people that throughout winter, they just get sick a lot. And you can, they can be taking all the immune herbs, the vitamin C mm. and the zinc, which is great. But then you ask them, oh, well, how's your gut health? And then, you know, it's like a light switch going on and it's like, hmm, it's not that good actually. And it's like, yeah. So who should take this product? Everybody can take it. Um, it's gluten-free, dairy-free, safe for vegetarians. Um, it's also shelf-stable, which is great. But children, up to adults and the elderly, everybody can take it. So when you say shelf-stable, that means I don't have to store this in the fridge. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Ooh. it's a very special. Because usually you do with probiotics, yes, don't you? Yes, you do. Um, and so um, it's ideal as well for those people that are travelling overseas and are concerned about their digestive health while they're away or about getting sick. Because there's nothing worse than... Let's say you're in Bali and um, you get that funny tummy when you're away. The old Bali Valley. We've yeah. all been there and done that. Yeah. Well, if you're lucky, you've been to Bali and done that. So you say that there's prebiotics in there as well. What's the difference between a pre and a probiotic? Mm, really good question because um, the probiotic is the bacteria. And um, this probiotic in immunobiotic is actually um, heat and acid resistance. So it bypasses, it goes through your stomach and it gets to your um, intestines where it's needed. And then it starts multiplying. Now the prebiotic is the food for the probiotic to live and feed off and flourish and without it the probiotics don't actually um, survive that well. So there's a lot of probiotics on the market but as far as I'm aware not many of them have a prebiotic with it. Oh wow. Yeah and you do get prebiotics in some foods particularly some veggies and fruits like um, garlic and leeks and onions but you know you just you don't eat enough of them to, for them to really have a good impact. And just quickly too your gut health can affect your mental health as well. Yeah it can. Um, it's interesting because um, not long ago I had to do a little talk on um, mental health and I was surprised to find out that up to 80% of serotonin which is your feel good happy hormone is actually made in your gut so not your brain but it has is from your gut now um, serotonin also converts to melatonin which is your sleep chemical mm. and sleep hormone so once the serotonin is made it crosses the blood-brain barrier and um, converts to melatonin and helps you sleep so gut health has a huge influence on so really we just yeah. have to get this sorted and yeah. then we're right start for life. here excellent hey yeah. thank you so much great advice vanessa uh, vanessa's brought along good health immunobiotic for everyone in the audience today as well <laughs> Now this product is available at Health 2000 stores. Just ask their friendly staff to point you in the right direction. And Good Health is giving away a winter wellness essentials kit valued at $100. Just go to the cafe's Facebook page for your chance to win.